Hi, this is James Johnson from jameschansonsalescars.com and this is a follow-up video. We did one once before on a Scion XB that had been brought in after an accident and I think this is a more dramatic example of predetermined deformation or the design of the vehicle to absorb shock rather than the uh, people on the inside uh, being injured. This car was on a test drive yesterday uh, it actually sideswiped a car that turned in front of it. The young lady, a fairly new driver, uh, actually lost control, hit the gas probably out of fear, and drove straight into a pole, as you can see here in the hood. Now the car, the way it was designed, everything did exactly what it was supposed to do. These bumpers are actually 5 mile per hour, zero damage. Um, I understand we were going a little more than 5 miles per hour in this car. But what happened was, the hood actually folded up. There's actually cuts inside the hood, so that it's already determined where the hood will fold up, rather than having the hood fly through the windshield, cutting off the heads of the occupants, Instead, it folded up, it absorbed the shock, which kept the shock from going into the occupant in the um, passenger and driver's seat. As you can see here, serious frame damage, but everything did exactly what it's supposed to do. It actually absorbed all the shock. It bent it in all the spots it was designed to bend. Now, in this case, it wasn't quite enough force to break away the engine mounts. If so, the engine mounts would have broken off the engine would have fallen to the ground rather than come crushing in on the legs of the passenger and the driver. There were actually three people in this car in the accident last night. The windshield, I mean, safety glass is pretty much standard now on all cars, but as you can see, there was quite a force that hit the windshield, yet the glass didn't shatter it into the faces of the passengers. The airbags did deploy. You can see the side curtain airbag. The car's locked. You can see the side curtain airbag on the passenger side as well as the steering wheel airbag. There was a little shattered glass and shards that uh, landed. I understand there was no damage to the uh, eyes of the occupants. I'm not sure what went through the windshield here. Quite a bit of force, but as you can see, it did not go and enter the, the cab. Uh, the passenger airbag front and side curtains both deployed. You can see there in the seat, the cushion opened and the airbag flew out front and rear. Kind of hard to see here, but the rear passenger airbag did deploy. What's key here is that there were no serious injuries. Probably more scared than actually hurt. They did visit the hospital and everybody was uh, okay and released because the car did what it was supposed to do. It absorbed shock. It folded up where it's supposed to fold up rather than having all of the force flying into the passenger, the uh, driver and passenger compartment. Predetermined deformation, it's already decided how this car is going to fold up in the event of a severe accident. If it had been more of an accident, engine would have broke away, engine mounts break off, the uh, battery would have disconnected, and the motor would have rolled under the car rather than come, sh rather than come crushing through uh, and crushing the legs of the driver and passenger. So as you can see, Toyota safety is built into these cars. That's why they have the highest safety crash test. If you're looking for a safe car, you found it. Toyota, and in this case, the Toyota Corolla. 2016 Toyota Corolla LE. Saved the life. We can always replace the cars, but we can't always replace our customers.